Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we're on the big old river again. We're gonna try today something I've never done before. She's waiting for birds to come back to the feed. We didn't get that morning flight. Had some things going on, but we still wanted to try out this morning. So, uh, I'm wrecking the weather be on it. 20 gauge again today with the tactic cam on it. Let's see if we can get some big camera footage for you guys today. I don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, this, this place has been having birds come back to it a lot when I've been scouting between 9 and 12 so it's 9 15 right now I've seen a couple pairs of birds in the air we'll see what happens Here, oh, you good boy. Good boy, sit. My bird. First mallard of the day. I didn't have my bolt slammed all the way forward on my gun, so that kind of sucks. I could have got a couple there, but that's better than nothing. Well, a positive for the day is we got one green head. Um, it's kind of weird that group just floated down, which maybe that's what they always do to get down to this spot between that time frame I've been seeing them. Maybe they always float down. I was kind of hoping to decoy some birds today, which technically I did because they they swam into my decoy spread here. But see, I got the big camera. I've got you can't see some, but a couple here and over here. I got a little hole right here. My spinners, my agitator, and I've got some pintails out there because they're white, and I've got some gold my decoys so way on my back edge. So if anything's flying up the river, whew, flies right into the set. The gun issue my morning was kind of sad because I could have had for sure at least two birds. But at the end of the day, that was nobody's fault but my own. Nothing to do with the weather bee. I knew when I set it down, I heard that bolt kind of drop earlier. And I thought I just tapped it enough to make sure it was forward, but look, turns out I didn't. So hopefully we get some more birds here. If not, we'll let you guys know. Stay tuned. They were just flying down the river. They never even gave us a second look. I have to change up some decoys here in a minute. Well, that was slightly frustrating and nobody's fault but my own this time as you guys saw got cut up in this brush the hide over here is just there's no good spot to hide i'm trying to tuck myself up in this little cubby when they come in and it's worked so far but then there's the hard part of getting all this stuff on your gun shooting from a position that's not the greatest kind of is what it is at this point in time so it's kind of a bummer. I like my hide more in my spot down river from here, but the ducks want to be up here, so can't hunt down there. I might just cry after that one. I just missed a stud widgeon. <laughs> Which are my favorite bird and I just missed them. 
I changed up where I was sitting a little bit. I was sitting, have this in the way. So I'm really like living on my shooting window, but I want to be in the shake, so I don't want them to see me. Remy, lay down. So we're gonna try. I moved over. I'm only like two feet, but maybe that'll help. I should have had those with you. Nice. Keep... My hide's better, but my shooting opportunities are not. I don't know which way you guys should try to make a better hide. I'm ready so you can actually shoot birds. This might be one of my worst shooting duck hunting days of all time. Those two were tight, like 10 yards. I missed them. Oh my goodness. I don't know what's going on today with me. I just, not good. And there was a bunch of birds there. Those two did it perfect. I, just, I don't even have words right now. That was just bad, just bad on my part. I don't know that I could I don't know if I could hit a single bird today there's two more decoyed if I do that again I guess I'm just gonna call it because there's no point in scaring all the birds if you can't hit one I don't know I don't know what's up with me today I'm just not not shooting well I sure hope you guys were making fun of me somewhere because this is like the worst shooting day of my entire life. Got to the point like I feel like I should just go home. Then there's that part of me like I just don't like quitting like that. But it's just bad. Bad at this point in time. Catch him up, Remy, go get him! Hold him up! Go get him! Finally got one. Good dog! Good dog! Oh, there's a good boy! Oh, there's a good boy! My bad. Big old green head there. And that is why you don't quit. Look at that gorgeous green head. Yes. Good job, Randy. Drake's on the day and green and teal. 
little. I should have had a lot more, but we'll keep chipping away here. Bad as my shooting has been today, I just scotch doubled on my favorite birds of all time. And they are gorgeous late season drinks. Oh my goodness. He's even got a sprig and everything. Look how beautiful. Look how absolutely studly this widgeon is. Oh my goodness. Beautiful cotton top. Oh, yes. Good job, Bob. We only got two shells left because my shooting's been so bad today, but maybe we'll get one more bird to finish it off. That would be awesome. Now I'm gonna say one thing here. I don't know if it's just the time of day, the fact that they're widgeting and they just did it dirty for me. <laughs> Literally turned around my entire day. Or the fact that I pulled my tall spinner. So I have one here. What do you think, doggo? I don't know if it was a move I made or if it's just the fact that they're widgeon or the fact that like, I don't really know about it. I did do with it pulled from my agitator and my sh short spinner. I had a tall spinner out right here in this hole where I was hoping I could get them drawn in and land. And I pulled that tall one that was about a foot higher or whatever one in length of the pole is. And those ones did it right. So maybe that's what it is. I'm not really sure. But <laughs> just shot two stud widgeon, and that just literally made my day because I haven't shot a widgeon in I don't know how long. And widgeon on the river, man. <laughs> so, what do you think, Pop? I oh, one kept diving on you, huh? It's a good day. Not bad. The shooting is terrible, but the ducks have been here, and that's what counts. Well, I think we're going to call it on that one. That was an awesome pass. We've been waiting for about another 20 minutes, but. I only have one shell left anyways, so I'm kind of nervous if I was a wounded duck or something and need to put another shell on them, I don't have it. I'll probably keep it loaded, ready in case there's something coming in, but I'm going to 
Oh, I think I'm gonna pick up. It's been a good day, kind of. I mean, I've done a lot of missing as you guys have seen, which is just absolutely terrible. I do have, I'll caveat my missing saying, I've got like a 30 mile an hour crosswind, so that's not terribly easy to hunt in, but he's been doing okay today. Not terribly great, but eh, it is what it is. I just, training on him is my fault at this point in time because I've taught him to be more watching me than watching the birds fall and kind of making sure he's hidden, but that's what it is. So if you guys like this video, hit that like and subscribe button. We're going to start doing giveaways on Buck and Duck gear every new 100 subscribers. So at 400, 500, 600, blah, 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 we're giving away a free hat of color of your choice that I have in socks. So hit me up, hit that like and subscribe button, catch us in the next video.